We were at something of a crossroads in terms of sustainability. Let's talk about that real quick. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. In the 1800s, and even into the early 1900s, redwood logging was a thing. They took these trees that were 1,500 years old, 2,000, 3,000 years old, and just chopped them down. Now, if a tree takes 1,000 years to grow and you want your forest to be sustainable, it means you can only chop down 0.1% per year, replant them, move on to the next section. It doesn't really work great on that kind of time scale, especially when it comes to humans. So, in the area where the redwoods used to live, something like 95% of the trees were cut down and almost none of them were replanted. So you end up with big bad boys like this guy right behind me that you can see are among the few remaining. And it only remained because it was knotty and ugly. It didn't have good straight wood to cut. So I bring this up because we're at another crossroads right now. We're doing the same thing with our air and our water and our, and our land, we're polluting the hell out of it. We're destroying our climate, we're killing ourselves, and we know better and we're not doing anything about it. So go ahead and show what this guy looks like here. Do you know how much carbon this thing can hold? How much carbon can be sequestered in a tree of this size? Like a lot of it. And it's going to take it. This one is uh, 1860 years old or so. And my God, it's going to take geological timescales for a forest like this to regrow. And it's just not going to happen. So anyway, that's one of the things about this whole road trip that we're trying to do is get some stuff figured out in terms of sustainability. Is it that hard? Is it really that hard to not kill ourselves as a species? Apparently it is. Apparently it is. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below and a quick thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. This road trip could not have happened without you guys. So thank you to Cole Paniton, Harry Olivieri, Stephen Anthony Jolly, Electric Pioneer, Dwight R. Tjornholm, Joshua Brinkman, Norm Storr, John McKell, Marco Rodriguez, Raku R., and Rob Womack at the cool level, and Lee Rayner, Kim Ngo, Cyber Raffi, Bob Callahan, and Bruce Dubs at the very cool level. Very cool.